Hey everyone, welcome back for another week of Tiny Tots. This week we are going to learn all about the letter K, but first, some book recommendations. This first book is simply called Koala. It's by Claire Saxby, illustrated by Julia Vivas. Um, it has amazing illustrations inside of it and then a ton of cool fun facts all about koala bears. Um, so I highly recommend this book. This one's probably my favorite one of the three, Don't Call Me Bear by Erin Blabby, who's a New York Times bestselling author. And this book is all about um, a little koala bear in Australia, and he is trying to educate everyone on the fact that he is not a bear, despite his name. He's actually a marsupial. Um, so it's a super cute book. Highly, highly recommend it. It's in our picture book section in the um, upstairs. And last but not least, this book is in our nonfiction section upstairs, and it is all about koalas, anything that you would like to know about them. Let's get started. First, we are going to learn how to write an uppercase and a lowercase letter K. In your Take and Make kit, you should have received this practice sheet, and you can practice along with me as many times as you would like. Here we go. For an uppercase letter K, First, we are going to draw this vertical line. Second, we are going to draw this line, sort of at an angle. And third, we're going to come down, touch the bottom. One, two, three. One, two, Three. For a lowercase letter K, we're going to make this vertical line and we're going to do the same as we did for the uppercase. You're just going to do smaller ones. So we're not going to touch this line. We're going to kind of go right above the dotted line and then down below. So it just looks like a smaller version of this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there you have it. To review, for an uppercase letter K, one, two, three. For a lowercase letter K, almost the same thing, just a little bit shorter. One, two, three. And there you have it. We've learned about what an uppercase letter K looks like and a lowercase letter K, but what words begin with the letter K? Koala. Kangaroo, kite, king, and key. In this week's Take and Make kit, you should have received K is for words that begin with the letter K, a piece of gray origami paper, a smaller piece of lighter gray origami paper, white origami paper, black paper, two eyes, glue dots, directions, and then cutouts for the koala bear pieces. For this week's craft, we are going to make an origami koala corner bookmark. Step one, holding the gray piece of origami paper, fold one corner over to meet the other corner, creating a triangle. So I'm gonna fold one corner over to meet the other. Step two, fold the lower right corner up to meet the top right angled corner. Step three, repeat for the left side. 
Step four, fold these two back open. Step five, flip down one of the top sheets and crease. Step six, now fold the flaps you created back up and tuck into your bookmark. So we're gonna fold this back up and tuck it into our bookmark. We're gonna take this one, tuck it into the other side. Step eight. Have an adult assist you with carefully cutting out each part of the koala from the handout. Step nine, take the piece that says ear and trace it two times. So we're gonna trace it on the light gray paper two times. Then cut them out. This is going to create the outer ears of our koala. Step 10, take the piece that says inner ear and trace it two times on the white paper. And make sure you save a little bit of room because you're also going to cut your chest piece out of this white piece of paper. And then cut them out. Step 11, trace the piece that says chest on the white piece of paper and then cut it out. So we're gonna trace this. Step 12, take the nose and trace it onto the black piece of paper. And then we're gonna cut it out. Step 13, once you have all the pieces cut out, use the glue dots to glue the inner ear pieces onto each outer ear piece. So we're gonna take a glue dot for each. We're going to put one on each of the outer ears. And we're going to take these little pieces that fit inside and stick them on. And then we are going to turn our bookmark over. So this is the back side, the one that doesn't have um, the corner. We're gonna stick them on the top part of this. So this is actually gonna sit on a book like this. So we're gonna glue them on the tops up here. Put one glue dot on that side and one on this side. I'm gonna stick the white side's gonna be down because it's gonna be in the front one on this side. Step 14, using a glue dot, stick the chest patch onto the koala's chest. And this angle right here should line up with the bottom. Okay, step 15, stick the koala's eyes onto the face. Put one over here. 
And one over here. Step 16. Using a glue dot, place the nose below the eyes. The last glue dot, I'm gonna take a, a glue dot here and stick it onto the koala's nose. And there you have it. As you are reading, feel free to stick this onto the pages as you read. We'll see you next week on L is for Llama.